All right, welcome back, and this is Mike at BrainStemSchool.com. Today we're going to talk about using functions with arguments and return values. So we talked last time about a simple function for simplifying a repeated task. This time, let's create our task to add two numbers together. And yeah, of course, you don't need a function to add two numbers together, but we're going to do it today. The def keyword. Adam A B. Now A and B are our parameters because those are the values that we're going to be filling in. And the processing is going to be printing the sum of A and B. Notice how the print is indented because that's the body of the function. Now back here against the left hand margin. I'm going to give the instructions that tell it to execute that program. Now these are really simple problems, but we'll see what happens. Now notice how it actually put the result up here and it put the word none in place of the function. That's because it calculated the value and then printed it because the body of the function said to do this action. So it did the action, then it went back into the line that called the function and it printed the string the sum of 4 and 5 is. Instead what we want the atom function to do rather than printing it itself is we want the atom function to give it back to the print statement. And the way to do that is with the return statement. So we're saying return a plus b. So the atom function calculates a plus b and then returns it. Return it gives it back to wherever it was called from. And in this case, it's in the print line. Now when we run it, we see the output the way we expect it. The sum of 4 and 5 is 9. The sum of 9 and 1 is 10. So because of this, you could have absolutely any procedure in the body of the function. And remember that the entire procedure has to be indented because anytime we have a colon, the next line is indented. And then every line that's indented is in that code block. And when we stop the indentation, the code block is over. So this is a very quick overview of calling functions with arguments and return values. Now, once again, the arguments are the values that we're actually using in the function call. In this case, 4, 5, 9, and 1 are arguments. When we have the function definition, we call them parameters. It's a subtle difference, and I don't get annoyed if you use the word parameter when you mean argument, argument when you mean parameter. Some people get all bent out of shape about that sort of thing. But the important part is you realize that you are activating or executing or calling the function in these lines. And back up here, this is the function's definition, which of course is signified by the def keyword. And... Be sure and head over to brainstemschool.com, download the ebook, and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Happy coding.